Welcome back to Google Developers Live at I.O. I'm Lewis Gray here with Daniel Seberg, my co-host. How's it going, Lewis? How you doing? Excellent. That's... This has been an incredible two days of jam-packed content, pretty much from every single product at Google. It's been a lot of fun to be part of. Yeah, absolutely. We're, we're approaching the end of our live coverage here, but of course it will live on for people to watch in right. many ways. It's the power um, of YouTube. And speaking of and YouTube. And speaking of YouTube, oh, what a segue. Uh, who knew? Just like uh, we were So you were doing the YouTube sandbox yesterday. You went and talked to a bunch of partners. That's uh, right. We've already talked about a number of different products. Uh, give me an idea of what happened in the YouTube sandbox. So yesterday. the three partners we talked to, one from Korea called Wuwa Brothers, which actually is using uh, YouTube in a pretty unique way to get uh, folks who go to a restaurant and want to share their experience and how restaurants are using videos. Uh, the second one is, is a company called uh, Capella Systems, and they're offering a lot of high-end production values for, for producing video and live stream. Same goes for Media Studios. So those are the three partners. Excellent. And they've got some really cool stuff to showcase. Great. Well, thanks for the intro. Let's go ahead and roll that video. Hi there, I'm Daniel Seberg with Google Developers Live here at I.O. 2013, and we are at the YouTube Sandbox. You may have heard of YouTube, world's second largest search engine. You might even be watching this video on YouTube right now. And I'm joined by Ikuyo from Capella Systems to talk about YouTube live streaming and how the software and the tools that Capella Systems makes available to people really can kind of add production value to what people are doing, right? Talk to me about what you make available to yeah. people. So Camera Live is an all software live solution. So we integrated the YouTube's latest uh, API, version 3. So from Camera Live software, we're able to stream directly to YouTube channels. As you can see on the target, you can add, um, if you have a YouTube Live account, you can specify a YouTube Live channel where you want to stream to. As you can see, that Camera Live can take multiple camera inputs. So right now we're capturing from our own PTRZ camera and encoding directly to YouTube channel. So here we're showing a Camera Live uh, property function. So we are showing we can choose a different background, as you can see, uh, going change to still, still image. You can also select the video footage to change to a, a different background. Uh, we are using a picture-in-picture picture for this function. So now that we see a lot of uh, shift towards IT-based broadcasting, so with the availability of high-speed internet, and then also open platform like YouTube Live, um, anyone can do a very high-quality um, broadcasting in Cambria Live allows users to do that with just a simple use of software. So you have an entire control room, essentially, right here yes. on your computer, and more, really. I mean, yes. even more ability to do those kinds of things. Who, who are some of the folks that you're working with? Who really has an interest in this type of technology? So we work a lot with uh, live events producers, so any sports events. Um, also, we have a lot of broadcasting uh, customers who's, a, who's doing a lot of live streaming to YouTube Live um, or to their own Wowza or Adobe VFS servers. And, and what's it been like working with the YouTube team so far? It's, it's been great. It allows us to kind of reach out to more customers, not just broadcasters, but customers like the, broad, uh, like the schools or uh, corporate who's wanting to do streaming, but not necessarily have uh, in-depth like a broadcasting experience. Cambria Live is very easy to use. Uh, stream to, streaming to YouTube Live platform, they're able to reach out to more viewers uh, from anywhere to anyone, anyone in the world. So that's great. And just quickly, what is the, what is the future of this technology? Where do you see this heading down the road? I think that this is, this is a new type of a broadcasting workflow. Uh, we are definitely seeing a lot of shift from traditional, uh, uh, traditional broadcasting workflow to more like IT-based broadcasting. So I think that more and more uh, professional content holders uh, or events producers are going to use this kind of platform, all the uh, software-based solutions streaming to YouTube platform. Cool. Great. Thank you so much. And thank you to our, our gentleman over there. Thank you. <laughs> I'm model. Thanks very much. Thank you. All right. All right, moving right along now to Wuwa Brothers, and I'm joined by Dave from Wuwa Brothers. Now, Wuwa Brothers is Korean. Tell me what it means. It means wow or elegant okay. in Korean. Excellent. Now, let's talk about what it does for folks in particular. Uh, it ties into restaurants and how people can upload their own experiences at a restaurant to YouTube, and then restaurants can also push their own content to YouTube. So, so walk me through a demo here. Okay, so we show all the nearby restaurants. First, you select your category of the food. 
as far as I know, you like chicken. I would love some chicken right now. So check out the chicken restaurant around yep. here, Moscow Center. You go through the list, see see what you like, click on the restaurant information page. Okay. And on here, you can check out the introductory uh, video about the restaurant. So and they've posted this video yeah. themselves? The owner posted it up on the app. Okay. And it could be showing some dishes or a chef, chef, whatever it is. Yes. Okay. And underneath that, you can also check out the user review made by video as well. And if you like, you can upload your own reviews on the app as well. So this allows you to use the camera in your device yes. to, do, to do, do a review even while you're at the restaurant. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. So give the rating, text, video, uh, picture, or video. Record like that. Okay. So that's that. So it's a very social way and visual way, obviously. People like to kind of share their yeah. experiences with food and, and their favorite Exactly. Restaurant. It's a lot more richer than uh, just the text and the photos. Okay, so tell me then how this all ties into ordering food as well. Mm -hmm. So, we have two different ways of ordering food through our app, which is direct calling. This is a direct call to the restaurant. Or you can complete your payment on app as well. We call it Paro Gyoje. So click on that. Select the food you like. Yeah, I'm still craving chicken. Excellent choice. Yep. Put it in a cart. And you're ready to check out. Continue. And special request, we're just going to say Google I.O. For the sake of the event. Okay. So this would all be sent to the restaurant itself. They're going to get this, yes. this order yes. coming it, into it, them. It will be on the, on the receipt. On the receipt, okay. And then put your points. Continue. Okay. Simple as that. And succeed it. And restaurant owner will uh, see that the oh, order just, just came right in. in. Okay. Put right in. Let's go process the order. I receive the order, and then I decide whether. Uh, how, how long does it take to complete the order? Like 30 minutes, 40 minutes, 15 minutes? Okay. I'll just say 30 minutes. And then the, the text message will go straight to the user. Say your delivery will it's, be it's delivered on its way in, in 30, minutes. Uh, 30 minutes. Great. And on here, here's your receipt. Okay. With the Google I.O. and a QR code where yep. you can download our app. Now I just want the chicken. <laughs> <laughs> See, we have all we made this batches for uh -huh. all different uh, food names yep. in Korean. Okay. Since, since all uh, real food are not allowed in most concessions, sure, so just sure. pick one, anything. Okay, I'll take that one. That's chicken. Perfect Great. choice. Thank you so much, Dave. No I appreciate it. All right. Thanks. And we wrap up by talking to Media Studios, and I'm joined now by Morgan from Media Studios, co-founder of Media Studios. So talk to me about the, uh, the collaborative uh, video production that you can do with Media Studios, but also uh, connecting people around a particular project. Sure, absolutely. So the goal of Media Studios is really to facilitate media production. So we, the goal is to bring Hollywood quality production to the YouTube ecosystem. So we've done that by bringing talent and connecting them with a workflow management system and tools. So it makes it very easy for anyone to come, find people, or do the work themselves. So here are a couple of tools that we've developed. Yeah. This is a subtitling tool, so if you don't have a script, the first point is you have to create a script with time codes. Mm -hmm. So we extract the waveform from the video to make it very easy through automation to create your sync points where all the subtitles or closed captions would occur. So this analyzes the waveform and it will create the in and out points automatically where someone can then go in and transcribe their text. Once you have the text, you can assign it to a translator through the marketplace. So in this case, imagine you would want to have Spanish subtitles. What we've done here is we've integrated the um, auto Google Translate API where you can just click a button, get an automated translation. If you like it, with one click you can use it, or you can go in and actually made, make modifications to it. Since it's all connected, you can actually monitor the workflow through the uh, Media Studio platform. 
Another tool we've developed is a rotoscoping visual effects platform which allows you to identify objects you want to manipulate, either remove, change the color. So in this case, I've run a rotoscoping algorithm which has identified my rows. I can then segment it out of the picture and then go and apply certain filters to it, such as changing the colors on the fly. So it makes it very easy to change and enhance your video through the platform. Mm -hmm. The goal is we have native apps, but also to have third-party apps and create a script-to-screen web-based workflow for media production. Yeah, and this is post-production we're talking about, as opposed to something happening live. That's or right. Ahead of time. Yeah. Okay. And, and if somebody wants to get help on a project they're working on, they can actually come to Media Studios and find the right people to help Absolutely. them with that? You could start on your own, and if you need help, just basically post a job or actually run a filter on the type of expertise you're looking for, and recommended creators from all over the world will be presented to you. And working within a certain budget, time frame? You can set the budget and have people actually propose on their offers on, on that specific project. Okay, and just quickly, what was the experience like working with the YouTube team on all of this? It was, they've been very, very supportive. Um, Yurik and Jeremy have been terrific, and they're really helping to get this out to their community. All right, cool. We're going to thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Um, that's going to do it for the YouTube Sandbox tu Tour here on Google Developers Live and IO 2013, and cut. Very cool stuff. I mean, thanks a lot, Daniel, for taking the time to go through all those. I mean, it wasn't just YouTube who you talked to, but you talked to the G Plus guys, Drive, and Maps. And really, what kind of what was the summary of your experience talking to all these partners, interacting with Google services? I think the consistent message was just that they, the experience they had with the development team was was rated very highly in every case. Which, you know, I know that they're here at this event, at our event, essentially, and maybe they feel compelled to say that. But I got a sense that they were totally genuine right. about everything that they were saying about these relationships, which is critically important when you're working Absolutely. with developers. I mean, that's something you have to do. If you're a developer, you want to make sure that the people who you're talking to will give you the information at the right time, that the APIs that you're working on will still be there yeah. in six months, that's 12 months, and you get the kind of feedback that continues to iterate and make the applications and the platforms great. Now you'll notice, if, for those of you watching at home, it's gotten a little quieter here. Uh, we're coming up at the end of our programming on day two, and it's the final time that we'll be live streaming from GDL at, at I.O. It wasn't too long ago, a couple hours actually. You should have seen it when Bradley was here. It was just That's right, it was a th like a thousand people right behind us. We were yeah. keeping them off the rope, which yeah. was really fun. Uh, but we're, we were really wanting to make it, make it known that we're doing GDL really year round. Yeah. Uh, GDL at I.O. has been a lot of fun. It's been a pleasure to, to stand next to you and do a lot of this stuff. Uh, but we're kicking off incredible content when we head back to all of our respective offices, be you in New York or Mountain View, London, Sydney. We're broadcasting around the world at developers.google.com slash live. Uh, there's hundreds of thousands of people subscribed to YouTube at Google Developers. We hope you're one of them. If you haven't done it already, that's the best way to really get the updates coming in. And we should say that the content from everything that we've, that we've talked about today, I mean, all of these segments will live in some Absolutely. form through the, the GDL Not site. only will they be on Google Developers Live, every single video is going to be on Google Developers Live, including all of the stream sessions from I.O., and those were just recorded. And so there were hundreds of sessions that took place at I.O. over the last couple of days, which were not yet streamed. And so we're going to take those, take them from YouTube, put them on Google Developers Live, and make that really the clearinghouse for all of I.O. and all of the developer content that we can get to you and help you do all the learning that you need to do and all the training that you need to do and have access to Googlers. It's really been an incredible opportunity to have that kind of transparency that I really enjoy about Google. You, know, you mentioned that uh, developers need to be able to trust in the code. They need to be able to trust in the company. Yeah, and I think that's something that was a big deal even out of yesterday's keynote, yep. like we talked about. Yep, absolutely. So I know there's still one more day left, but would you, could you pick a highlight? Could you narrow it down to one Well, one for thing? me, the highlight has really been having that kind of transparency and be able to talk to the Google executives who make it happen. Uh, I mean, we really started off with a bang, not just with a three and a half hour keynote, but who did we get right after that? It was Megan Smith. Yeah. You know, Vice President of Google X, she's thinking about things and seeing things every day that you and I and most people here and not here could only dream about. The moonshots. The moonshots. I mean, yeah. even for some of us who live really close to Google and see it, the announcement of self-driving cars, we're like, is that even real? Yeah. We hear about glasses, you know, it got written up in the New York Times, we're like, is that even real? Yeah. I would love to keep feeling like that, is that even real? Yeah. And I think we get spoiled here at Google because we have access to so many brilliant people 
so much scale and so much dedication to really making the world a better place, mm -hmm. not just a better place to make money, but a better place to really have uh, technology that impacts everyone. Yeah, and it becomes a conversation here where you get yes. the developers who can listen to all of those folks at Google and share all of their wisdom and then you know, you've get the, the Google folks who can listen to the development community right. in, this, in this way that takes it off, you know, off being just on, connected to the internet with emails and you know, yes. that kind of thing, but actually face-to-face -face meetings and, and that's an all that is still thing. so important. And you know, I've talked about that from day one. Uh, Google I.O. is an incredible place for the thousand of developers to see us face-to-face, -to, -face, to engage with us, to ask us questions. Even Larry Page did a Q&A yesterday. Right. I mean, so we do want to hear. This isn't just empty. And Google Developers Live is intended especially to do that. And so when we're broadcasting out of smaller studios in Mountain View, smaller studios in uh, you know, Delhi and, and Milan and all these places where our people are advocating on your behalf as developers to make incredible apps for our users, it is about that type of transparency and engagement. And even for those people who can't join us live, we always want to make sure those videos are available for you to go and get. And so it's really exciting to have that Developers Live site where you can go in and go to the archives. And if you're someone who's deep into Chrome, you can watch every Chrome event ever. You can learn how to write your first drive app in C++ or JavaScript or .NET or whatever is your language of choice. And that's a really important thing for me. What really stuck out for you? You got 30 seconds. <laughs> 30 seconds or less. I mean, I have a. I, I feel like I have a. I'm a little impartial to to Geo, and I feel like I'm attached to that world. So the, for me, the the chance to now talk about the new Google Maps, which internally we've had a chance to see for quite a while. Yes. And now that this is is available and out there for people, it's just really exciting. And I think that this, there's so much potential coming. And, and again, that goes to moonshots and scale. I mean, what has yeah. happened with Street View and Earth and mapping the entire globe? Yeah. It's just really incredible thing. So thank you very much for the thousands and thousands of people who Wherever joined you are us on in the, the world, live stream. Speaking of maps, all over the all world. Over the world. Uh, and thank you again for joining me on GDL at IO and for all the people on the production side who helped make this happen. We've had an incredible run of events. Yeah, we should say there are a lot of folks behind the camera here absolutely. Who, who helped us out. So definitely check us out, developers.google.com slash live. We hope to see you there. Talk to you soon.